Hello everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. Today we're doing my signature look and I thought to do it today because I love it so much. I love it so, so much. I think it's so flattering on me, on so many other people and it's something about this pulled eye, about this elongated cat eyeish look that's just so sexy and flattering. The colors I've used are the pinks and lilacs and violets. I know there are people out there that don't like those colors. Just adapt it. Use whatever colors you like and you can still pull this look off. So let's jump into the tutorial. I'm gonna show you now how I did it. First of all, I'm going to prime my eyelids and this is the paint pot from MAC in Soft Ochre. I love this stuff. It dries down pretty matte and you can put on top anything and it's not going to crease. You don't really have to set that to put powder on top, but I like to do it because I just want to make sure that everything's going to stay put and not move around. One of my favorite eyeshadow is this one from Inglot in the shade 361, I think. Um, this is just a transition shade. I like to put like a very dark eyeshadow or any, you know, dark eyeshadow and then go over the edges with this one to blend it out to make it look very photoshopped looked, which I've talked about many times in my videos, or to apply it before that dark eyeshadow. So that's going to have something to blend into, into nothing. And that's the idea today but what i'm doing now is applying eyeliner very very thin and this angled um, this angle is very very important um, so that you get the full effect of this look this is how i like to apply my eyeliner to make it very cat eyeish this angled and so long now from the huda beauty rose gold palette remastered i'm taking sandalwood and this is my transition shade uh, my second transition shade which is like a warm toned medium eyeshadow with a matte finish and then I'm taking Risqué which is slightly cool toned medium dark berry with a matte finish as well and this is an eyeshadow that is permanent in the palette rose gold remastered but um, I love this eyeshadow it's a bit darker than the camera picked it up and as you can see I'm doing like a defined line but uh, slightly blended out so the edges are not very sharp they are blended out but the inner a part of the application is very defined. The brush I'm applying this with is the E36 from Sigma. So now I'm taking a bright, I'd say medium dark pink with cool undertones as well and a semi matte finish. This is called Doll Face as well from the same palette. And with this, I'll be tracing along the already existing eyeliner. I am going to put another eyeliner, a black one, on top of that darker one I've applied with the pencil. But this pink eyeshadow is going to peek from underneath that um, dark eyeliner I'm going to put on top, as I've said. The movie eyeliner I've used is actually like a guideline now you can leave it like this or you can be extra as I was I uh, did apply the um, curvy eyeliner on top as I've said and I love this stuff so much this you can trace hair like lines with it it's so fine it's so good and black and it's also matte which I appreciate in a eyeliner as you can see the impact is so much bigger now that I've applied the eyeliner along the top lashes now I'm going to coat my top lashes only with a mascara from Max Factor, which I really do like. I've used it for years and years and the thing I like about it is that you can make your lashes black from the roots. It really does get into those lashes because it has like plastic spiky bristles. The mascara I'm putting on is one from Max Factor and I like this one because it has very stiff and plasticky and spiky bristles. You can really get into those lashes and make them black from the roots. Then on my lid I'm going to put Rose Gold which is another eyeshadow from the palette and it's what the name says Rose and Gold. It's like a duochromed eyeshadow when you turn your head around you can see the gold or the pink and it's a very beautiful effect. 
Then for my foundation, I'm going to use the NYC one. I've used it in my last tutorial. I use it off camera quite a lot. I do like it because it's so airy. You can't feel anything on your skin. It's not greasy, but it's also definitely not matte. And um, it has like a medium coverage. If you do like all those things, then you're going to love this one. And if you don't, then well, you're just not going to like it. Don't buy it. I usually do like to apply my foundations with a sponge, a dampened sponge but this time I'm using a brush and I am applying a thin layer first and then adding where I think I need more. My drugstore favorite concealer is the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline in the shade 20. I'm applying it like this underneath my eyes, on my forehead, along my nose and on my chin. The areas where I'm applying it are going to be brought forward. They are going to be the highest points of my face, so to say. That is the whole point of highlighting. So I'm not just concealing um, underneath my eyes and where I've put it. I am also highlighting my face. Another favorite concealer is this one from L'Oreal, the True Match one, the foundation. I absolutely adore, um, but the concealer as well, and this is in 8DW, which means caramel or toffee, and this is going to be my bronzer today, just that I didn't think it's going to be so dark on my skin. Next time, if I'm going to use it, I'm going to mix it with my foundation and make it a bit more light, because I had a slight problem with with blending it out it took me a longer time than the usual and it should have been you know easy Now I'm not going to powder my base down, I'm not finished with the liquids, I'm uh, using a highlighter from the body shop which has like a pearly pinky shade and I'm applying this with my finger, I always do, I like how it looks you know when it melts into my skin and this is beautiful. I like to do like a C shape, I like to put it above my brow as well and on the temples and then for a fresh appearance I'm going to put on my blusher which is also a cream one from Revlon and you can already tell this is like a very fresh look on my skin. I do love how it looks. The powder I'm using is from RCMA. This is a product I'm always going to and I'm always going to go to. And I am using just a bit of this. I don't want to lose that freshness, that rosiness. And also I don't want to lose that lightweight feeling I'm having right now. So now I'm finished with my base, I'm going to go to the eyes again and finish that off as well. And I'm putting that risque eyeshadow underneath my eyes quite heavily and I'm blending it out really, really good. I want it very blown out, you know, very smoky, but intense looking. On my bottom lashes, I'm going to put now Unlimited Mascara, which is a, a fave. This is waterproof from L'Oreal and I'm going to coat really good my lashes. I want them to stand out. Now the same tattoo eyeliner from Maybelline which was in the shade Rich Berry I'm going to put in to my waterline. It's very creamy, it stays put for like two or three hours. I've tried that out and I can tell you that it's not going to last longer than this but you can reapply it and it's no biggie. And then for tight lining I'm using as always the MAC Black Track. This is very good, this stays put and I love it. Then I'm quickly going to fill in my brows. I'm using the Ash Brown Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills and the favorite brush, which is from Ziva. 
I always like to go through the hairs with a brow gel. This time it's transparent from Estee Lauder. And then for the lips, I like to outline them a bit. And I don't know what this is called, but I'm going to put it down below. And also on top, I'm going to go with a gloss from Revlon, which I also don't know what's called, but I'm going to put it as well down below. This is a non-sticky formula, by the way, a great one. I like to have it with me in my bag sometimes. And yeah, this is the look, the completed look. Hope you like it. Thank you for watching this video, guys. And don't forget to thumbs up this video if you did like it. And also follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Vero. That's very important to me. If you do like my videos, go follow me there. And yeah, subscribe here to my channel as well. And guys, please do engage more if you do like my videos, because uh, if you don't, you're gonna be unsubscribed by YouTube uh, at some point. So yeah, keep that in mind. Bye, until next week.